Good morning and happy Friday to all my friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 29th, 2021. Our last trading day of the month heading into Halloween. Hope everyone has a happy Halloween this year. Looks like we have a little bit of a pullback possibly um, happening this morning after um, Apple and Amazon's disappointing earnings after the bell yesterday. So what does all that mean? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone. I am wishing you a great Friday morning and the last trading day of the month. So how about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Obviously the big news of the day is the disappointing news uh, at, after the bell yesterday from um, Apple and Amazon. And that has a little bit of a uh, dampening of this morning's energy um, of the bull run. So let's take a look. Well, first off, if we kind of analyze some of these, I'm going to use this nice straight line. If we come across here, notice that we're holding still above this price support in the chart. And so far, um, there's no reason to believe that we can't continue to hold that. We can see here in the pre-market, we're pushing down just a little tiny bit. Now, what I would be concerned about is if the selling were to pick up, then we would push down and maybe test this low. Now, it is a pretty big move down there to test that low, but I want you to think about the possibility that if those bears were to actually pick up, and we fail this low, it's gonna be a painful decline to come down into here. And you could see that possibility just simply because there really was no pullback, no support level placed in here on the chart. And this is the stronger level of support. So if we, if we see those bears kind of gain some control here today and start pushing, it could be a painful day. However, I'm going to say that with this being the last day of the month, I would suspect that there's going to be some effort from the institutions, a little bit of window dressing, whatever they can do on the end of this month to close out this month strong so they can put it in the record books as a good solid month. Um, so what that means is I would not rule out that the bulls um, are going to give up easily. They're going to fight pretty hard in here to hold the market up despite kind of the disappointing news out there. There's news out here this morning that um, European markets or U Europe is experiencing its highest level of inflation in the last 13 years. Um, we also got news out of Mexico that their economy declined by a full 20% over last quarter. So we're starting to get these signs of economic contraction around the world and um, all of these uh, all of these little concerns but I would I would kind of suspect that we're going to see those institutions fight hard to defend um, the this rally at least through the end of today so watch carefully for that and then if we take a look at the spy if those bears were to take over if they were to get a little feisty and they could then look for a test down here in that chart. And let's kind of keep in mind that that's not really a strong support level in price action. And if we were to really push and get going, we could see those bears uh, maybe shove us down into a price level down in here, which would be pretty darn painful if that were to occur. Now keep in mind, that wouldn't change anything in the chart. That would be just a pullback toward the 50-day moving average. So it wouldn't be, um, you know, um, everything, is, uh, everything is bad again. It would just be um, that push back to test a normal support level in the chart. So is it out of the question? Not at all. All. Is it likely today? I'm going to suggest no, just because I think those institutions are going to work hard to keep things bullish for the end of the month. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ has the biggest chance of really 
getting a pullback. We did happen to make that new record high yesterday after we attempted a couple of times here and just couldn't quite hold on to it. We closed at a new record high, so they got their they got their record. And now looking in here, you can see we are actually looking to open below the price support of this last high. Now that might mean if those bears catch on and start to fight, we could push down into this level right in here. So we have a little price support level right in here with this price action in this area. That's why it's always good for a market to consolidate. When we consolidate, we set price levels that can hold the stocks. When we rally straight up, well, we don't put in much support in that price action. So QQQ, if we were to pull back, we could pull back maybe to the top of that level, or maybe the stronger level is right in here to the bottom side of that. Now, obviously that would be a little bit of a painful pullback, but it looks like that could be a possibility if those bears were to gain control. I do, however, think we'll, we'll probably be looking into next week for that to occur. And if that were to fail, notice that the stronger level of price support is below that down here, and that would be a full test of our 50-day moving average. So watch for that possibility, watch carefully. And then let's take a look at the Russell. Russell's been struggling here. We had a good surge back up yesterday, but doggone it, we keep banging our head against this resistance level in the chart. Just keep banging and banging and banging against it, and we just can't quite seem to get through there. Um, this morning we have just a little teeny tiny bit of bearishness coming in into the market. So let's watch carefully and see if we can maybe push through that level again or if we happen to fail it here. Um, watch that closely. Now we still have this upside trend, so that doesn't mean that we're just falling clear out of bed. We could just wander around in here as we continue to complete this wedge here in the chart. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now our VIX yesterday had a little bit of decline, but what was interesting is with the strong the strong surge that we saw in the market yesterday and record highs in the QQQ, you would have thought we would have seen a little bit more in the way of uh, a pullback in the VIX. We didn't get that. So we are still setting here on a little bit of an elevated level and we're getting a little bit of selling this morning. So we might see that VIX continue to rally up. Like I say, I don't think there's gonna be a major problem here in the VIX unless we break through some resistance in the chart, break above that downtrend, that would be a real problem. So watch this area right in here. We, if we come into some resistance in that area, I think we're gonna be okay um, in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 rallied strongly yesterday back up. So notice we pushed back up here in the chart. And what that means for us today is that if we can find the, that reason for the bulls to continue to push to the upside, then we have that opportunity that we could still move up. We have an opening here in the chart. However, with a little bit of bearishness that we're seeing in the market this morning, there is certainly that possibility that we opened up a pretty big opening for a test to the downside. So watch carefully. It could be an interesting day, a little bit of a battle going on um, between institutions trying to hold things up for the close of the month and that little bit of bearishness coming in with um, Amazon micro and um, Apple disappointing and inflation and next week's taper talk from the Fed and all of these things that are coming uh, up today. So watch carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2107. T2107 did rally back up yesterday and that's exactly what we wanted to see. I would mentioned yesterday in the morning prep that if we, we didn't want uh, to see this failing back below this price support level right here in the chart and we did we just we held on to that and bounced up nicely yesterday 
However, with the selling today, we still run that possible risk that we could dip back down and break that support. And that could be a problem for the market if we start seeing those stocks that, are, that have been down below this 200-day moving average start to falter again, pushing back lower. So watch carefully here. As long as we can hold in this area, I think we're going to be okay. But if we were to really get some selling going, that could be a problem. Now let's take a look at our T2101, the absolute market breadth index. Notice that that breadth yesterday, even as we were surging to the upside, we didn't get a whole lot of breadth action in there. We pulled back a little bit. Now, I don't think that's a major problem here. We continue to move in this big old wedging downtrend here in the chart. Now, what that does open up that possibility, what, what we'll likely see eventually is that bearish move in the market and that's where we'll get that surge of market breadth if we get that selling to come in to the market so as we tighten this wedge and we can continue to tighten this wedge and tighten this wedge watch carefully in here if we were to happen to surge out that could be that that top that um, we've been kind of watching for in the market so watch carefully let's take a look at our um economic calendar for today. That's going to be um, another interesting thing that we'll have to address this morning. Now there isn't, you know, those massive reports to really move things around, but there are some more reports in here that could give us some clues of some issues. Notice we have employment cost index. I doubt that that moves us around today. What's going to be interesting, this personal income and outlay, we're going to want to watch this one closely because the consensus on this is actually suggesting that personal incomes have declined. Notice that we went personal income of a positive 0.2. Consensus is coming in at a negative 0.1. We're if we're seeing personal incomes decline and we're seeing durable goods orders decline, we're seeing um, trade deficit expand, we're seeing all of those little markers in here that we could be slowing down in our economy, that all of this money printing had a very short-lived um, support for this market. So watch that closely. If that were to happen to miss and come in a little bit higher, that could be a problem for the market. So watch that closely today if we start to see those incomes actually decline. And then I think the one that's going to be of big interest for me anyway is going to be this consumer sentiment number. Sentiment has been extremely low and um, with inflation continuing to rise, those costs of energy and everything rising really hard, I have a, a worry. I'm not sure that it's going to play out that way, but I have a little worry that this number where consensus is coming in the same as it did last month, um, that that could actually slip. If we happen to slip, that could be a problem for the market today. So watch carefully for that. If it comes in better than that, hey, that could help bolster the market and be a positive sign that we're going to hold up. So watch carefully on those numbers today. Keep in mind, as you're planning forward, keep in mind, next week we're going to be talking to the FOMC and waiting on the FOMC Fed decision, I mean rate decision, as well as all of their decisions about taper. And so that will start to add a little bit of worrisome uncertainty in the market heading into next week. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for, or excuse me, our earnings calendar for today. We have about a hundred companies on the earnings calendar today. And although we have um, a significant number of notables that I've placed on the, on the chart for today, none of them are the kind of stocks that would be big market movers. So a um, little bit lighter day, but having said that, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be um, of interest today. Take a look at Warehouser. Warehouser reporting this morning. Little pop and drop on the pre market. We popped up on earnings report, pulling back just a little bit. So watch that closely. We're going to hear from Granger today. We're going to hear from um, CVX. CVX today. It looks like CVX is looking good on its earnings report, trying to pop higher. Oil sector is strong. Um, let's take a look at ABBV. They will be reporting today, trying to tick just a little bit higher here this morning. Um, MWL, 
is on the list this morning. Keep a close eye on that. Looks like it's trying to gap just a little bit higher in a downtrend. And then RCL, last one I'm going to cover this morning anyway, um, uh, will be reporting today. So just a few of those out there to be making uh, note of. And if you happen to be holding them, obviously they're going to be very notable um, in those stocks. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor. If you guys have seen these videos, uh, not seen these videos before, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you guys feel these videos are worthy, please engage with the video. Click those thumbs up buttons. Leave those comments. It helps the channel to grow. We're past 24,500. We're heading our way to that 25,000 mark, which is very, very cool. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does support the channel. It means the world to me. I truly appreciate it. I never would have expected, honestly, that there would be this many people that would be searching for this kind of content that's not full of hype and prediction. So thank you so much to, to you all. And to celebrate this, when we hit uh, 25,000 someone is gonna win one of these I'm going to I I would carve as a hobby and I'm going to send you one of these personally hand carved um, Christmas trees for your decorations for the year so if we can get up there around 25,000 we'll be doing a drawing to send one of those out um, also, I want to thank everybody who supports the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. Honestly, guys, you humble me every day. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade. And you should never, ever, ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea. Do your own analysis and decide whether or not that is the trade for you. I mentioned Oracle yesterday and Oracle made a an attempt to push higher and this morning um, looks like we're getting a little pop and drop in the price action here this morning and I guess that's probably just a result of tech um, sliding back just a little bit. But I still think we need to keep a close eye on this. We're moving out here toward this trend. And if we can hold right in this area right here, we still have that opportunity in this resting pullback in here that we could pop through to that upside. So keep a close eye on Oracle. I think it's worth watching um, and um, may potentially set up here for an upside move. And I've mentioned Cisco before. And I still think Cisco is in that pattern. Notice that we have this resistance level up here. We have support right here. And we're just kind of filling out this pattern on this side, holding into this little upside trend. Notice we've been banging against the door here. Banging, banging, hey, let me in, let me in, let me in. And we haven't been able to push enough energy through there to let that through that level. But watch this carefully. If we consolidate this out toward here, toward this trend, we may just find the energy to push on through and Cisco move back through to the upside. So watch carefully for that. Um, I think, guys, one of the things that has really kind of surprised me has been the strength in retail. And I think partially that is just because of the fear of Christmas and things like that. Um, empty shelves um, coming along. People are doing their shopping early. In fact, there is some I, um, there is some talk out there that this could be the strongest shopping season of uh, ever, just simply because everybody is doing a little panic shopping um, out there. And what we're seeing is we're seeing quite a little bit of retail move strongly. And some of these stocks are coming up off of bottoms. Take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's is trying to work through some bottoms here. Sales all over the place already. Watch this right in here. We're trying to breach this downtrend in this chart. If we can pop through there, there's that tried and true reversal pattern that I'd be watching right here in this chart. And then there might be some upside opportunity uh, moving through. Now, let me show you one that already completed that pattern. And here we are in uh, Macy's. Macy's had this little downtrend that was going on right here. We broke through that downtrend, made that higher low, 
and off to the races. And Macy's is one I think we should keep an eye on. Notice we're pulling back into some price support. Might chop our way over here to trend and still have that opportunity to go higher. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I, I think I would be remiss if I don't continue to mention um, the setup in silver and setup in some of the mining stocks. Take a look at silver here. We've been running in this upside trend and that upside trend um, has run into some price resistance. Notice we've broken the downtrend here and we've run into some price resistance in the chart. Now it looks like silver is pulling back just a little bit today so we could lose that trend but I gotta tell you this is a pattern I like to trade and this is a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout where prices break above that 50 day moving average. And I want you to notice right in here that we have all of our shorter term averages crossing up through that 50 day, providing some price support in this area. So watch that carefully. If we can find some of that price support, we could turn and move higher and head up toward that 200 day moving average. So keep an eye on that. If you look at some of the miners um, out there, take a look at um, Newmont Mining. Newmont Mining got hit hard yesterday in the selling. So some of the miners are starting to unravel here just a little bit. And that might mean that um, the silver and gold rally could be coming to an end. But keep a close eye on those. If they were to bounce off of those trends, there still is some upside opportunity. Um, maybe coming in those, maybe coming in those charts. Take a look at, um, Plug Power, I've mentioned this one before. Plug took off like a rocket shot yesterday, breaking through that resistance in the chart. Now, keep in mind, we still have resistance above, but this is a good sign for this chart popping through. This is one of those fuel cell green energies out there. And if we catch this little bit of a resting pullback in here and can hold that support after breaking through, I would watch for that next opportunity to the upside on plug. Another one would be Ballard Power. Take a look at Ballard. Ballard is another one of those stocks and I really like this pattern here because we have a cleaner chart in this breakout. Notice breaking through that resistance and now if we can catch a little resting pullback in here that gives us a closer opportunity for an entry, let's watch for that possibility in here. Just give me a little bit of rest in that opportunity that that, that could perk up and move to the upside following this upside trend. So watch Ballard Power closely. Um, let's take a look um, at some of these um, other stocks in that oil sector area. Take a look at ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is a good divvy payer, um, big strong divvy payer. And if you're looking for a longer term position, this might be a place to look. Notice right in here, ExxonMobil holding this support level in here and we're showing some bullishness here this morning right off a of trend and support. Keep an eye on a stock like ExxonMobil. If oil continues to rise, this might be one of those stocks that would be a pretty good um, dividend payer and a good hold for a period of time. Keep a close eye on that. Switching sectors, let's take a look um, over at the financials. Financial sectors perked back up again yesterday. We had an ugly sell-off um, on Wednesday, turned around strong on uh, Thursday, and we are trying to gap higher this morning. So take a look at stocks like BAC, Bank of America, setting up an opportunity here. Nice little consolidating move, trying to show that bullishness. We might be ready to follow through on this trend at any time. Keep a close eye on BAC. You can also see those kind of moves in like WFC, Wells Fargo, um, moving up yesterday strongly. Now we will be approaching some resistance levels in that chart this morning. Watch that carefully as we approach that. But we have that bullishness um, in those financials that would be worth keeping an eye on. So with that, guys, hey, I'm going to wish you all a fantastic day. I'm going to wish you great results in your trading. And more importantly, have a safe and wonderful weekend. And I'll see you guys all right back here, bright and early, Monday morning. Take care, everyone.